everyone ham here so today i thought i would post up my first set of benchmarks i decided i'll drip feed these as and when i do them rather than record them all wait till the end and then edit them i'll put them up as uh, individual videos so people searching for them on youtube can find them more easily so today i'm looking at a set of course competizioni and this is uh, benchmarked on the hp reverb g2 at native resolution at 90 hertz so this is essentially the reverb g2 maxed out to begin with in this video i do um three runs on the rtx 3090 which i um, tested before i swapped the gpu over and then i do uh, another couple of runs on the 4090 afterwards as a comparison and then at the end of the video i'll just do a quick analysis of the data and show you my findings and explain what it means and what i think about it Okay, on with the benchmarks.
So I'll just quickly go over the FPS VR uh, log data. So just to begin with, we've got the 1390 uh, results here running in VR Epic. And obviously you can see it's really struggling here. Well, the um, GPU utilization is almost 100% and our average uh, frame time is in the 20 millisecond region here which is way above the required 11 milliseconds that we need for 90 hertz and we're not cpu bound because we're way down here so clearly um it overwhelmed the card on the 3090 if we look at the next bit of log data which actually is a mixture of vr high and vr low uh, I forgot to uh, stop the log counter when it was running and switch between the two profiles. So that's why we've got two peaks here. This was running on VR high and this is on VR low. Same above on VR high. Um, it was struggling to uh, reach the 11 milliseconds, but on VR low, it was okay. Now, if we quickly go over to the VR high preset on the 1490, you can see that the average uh, GPU frame time is way below the 11 milliseconds here. And we were only using approximately 65% of uh, GPU resources. Again, nowhere near CPU bottlenecked uh, with the Intel i9-12900K. So if we now look at the VR Epic preset, we can see that we're struggling to get that 11 millisecond target frame time. We're running around the 13 and a half milliseconds region here and this this gpu is also uh, being swamped so it's obviously quite demanding the uh, vr epic preset and if we compare the two uh, you can see that it does perform a lot better on the 4090 so we're averaging around the 20 milliseconds on vr epic and we're down to 13 14 milliseconds on the 4090 so that is a massive improvement uh it's playable on the vr high setting with quite a lot of headroom here so what i'm saying is the desired graphics level is going to be somewhere between vr high and vr epic and keep in mind this is with the uh, hp reverb g2 maxed out at its maximum render resolution and we can just double check the resolution is listed there and you can see we're running at 90 hertz so anyway, that should give you a guide in terms of what I think I'm pretty impressed with this. So if we just want to compare the two between the 3090 and the 4090, I've just listed the two presets, VR High and VR Epic here. You can see the average FPS reported by the app and then the median frame time. So the, the middle frame time out of all of them. And from that, you can actually calculate the, uh, it would be the median calculated FPS. So if we take that frame time of 13.4 milliseconds on VR high, that would give us a theoretical FPS of 75. If we do the same for Epic, that gives us a theoretical frame rate of 50, which is quite close to the, the average there. If we look at the 4090 on VR high, we were quite easily hitting that 90 FPS and with a frame time of 6.5, that's given a theoretical frame time of 154. So if we weren't limited to 90 hertz, um, the game could actually run up to 154 FPS if the uh, if the refresh rate on the Reverb G2 was that high. So comparing the two, we're looking at a approximately 106% increase in terms of performance between VR High on the 3090, and when we look at VR Epic, that's a 46 percent improvement so in terms of performance increase using the 4090 to the 3090 at least in acc you're looking at between 45 and 100 percent performance gains so there we go i'm not going to go into um, any custom presets there's obviously going to be a sweet spot in terms of configuration of graphics between high and epic uh, but in terms of running it on high i was very pleased with the result and it is a decent upgrade don't forget if you found this video useful, leave a like. Any questions, leave them in the comments below. And if you want to be kept up to date for future benchmark videos on the 4090, hit that bell button. Okay, until next time, bye for now.